Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Today I'm going to show you how I am going to change the um, closure on an envelope folder. This is one I've, uh, I've made um, uh, the other week. I do like it, um, but I would like to change the, the way it's, uh, it's closing. I want to put a magnet on there instead of... Uh, the, the slit for the envelope uh, to go on. Uh, so quite an easy make. So we'll just crack on. So with this, you just need two envelopes, and I've got a, a piece, a piece, sorry, a piece of spare envelope that was hard to say uh, to make the uh, the folder itself. So it's quite quite simple, quite easy to make. All you're going to need is some PVA glue. And the, the PVA glue I like to use is uh, Sea White of uh, Brighton, which I get from my local um, art supply shop in the local art gallery, um, Art Fix uh, Supplies uh, Co. UK. It's brilliant stuff. It's quite uh, versatile. It's uh, very thick, and you can water it down if you uh, if you want to. Uh, but it's a, a really good quality. Uh, PVA glue. So I'm just running it around the edges of the the flap on this uh, envelope here and then all we're going to do is attach this envelope onto the corners there like so. Trying to keep them as as in line as possible. Now I have left a teeny tiny gap um, they're only a small gap, probably of oh, less than an eighth of an inch. Okay, so we're going to turn that over and just to press it down. So that's what the start of your envelope folder is going to look like. And then all we're going to do then is just turn that over and we're going to trim off the uh, side ends there. So I'll just get my trimmer. You can use scissors, but I'm not very good at cutting straight lines, uh, if I'm honest. So this is just going to make sure that your envelope folder is going to fold out and it will also give you a little area for a pocket. There we go. One of these days I'm sure I'm going to break, uh, break it. Okay, so now we can open the envelope out. like so and here just like that bit there we've got this piece of uh, extra flap so I'm going to trim that off because that's going to be making my uh, inside pocket so again we just get the the trimmer slide it in and then I want that to be about two and a quarter um, wide from that seam there to there I don't want my pocket to be much more than that. And you want to be keeping these two little corner pieces because they're going to be support for where the magnet uh, goes on. Okay. Now, if you've got a little tiny flap that's flapping over there, I tend to just put a little tiny bit of glue, just the smallest amount, on that uh, corner, that one that one back as well and just put a little tiny bit of glue and that just gives it a little bit of strength so we've now got our envelope and here we've got our ready-made uh, pocket area okay now I'm not going to f actually fix this down yet because with the the folder itself, I'm going to want to put uh, a, co a collage of uh, different papers in there and it's easier to tuck it in before you stick it down. Uh, and also, I'm going to cut out the little uh, circle there once I've put the paper on. Okay, so we've now done that. Now on this edge here, we've got this extra spare space which we're going to uh, cover up because I don't want to have... Uh, that space there I want that to be part of the complete envelope so we're just going to line it up 
onto that piece of spare card that I've got there. So again, we just get the glue and we're going to run the glue it's coming out just along along that edge there and also along this edge along here like so flip this across and we're going to just line that up as best as we can there we go Turn it over that side. So we've got that now all lined up. Now when we fold the envelope up, we're going to be having that going into there. Now if you can see here it's gone over the line, over this line here. So we're going to want to trim some of that off because it's uh, going to be excess. And when we fold that over again, it's going to bend. So what I'm going to do is just trim off to about there, I think, and see uh, if that's about the right, the right length. Okay. And hopefully this will fold over quite uh, quite neatly now. So that folds across there. And then that's going to fold across there. Everything's nice and straight. And then the envelope comes out there. Okay, so we'll just go over that again. There's your pocket. That folds over there with a little bit of a gap there. Put that there, you might be able to see a bit better. So we've got about a gap, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, something like that which then allows you to fold over without it bowing and then you're going to have your envelope like that. Now in this finished one I've got to put a line across there. I've cut out with a, a die that I've got which so that can slot into. This time I'm going to want to put a magnet in and this is the stage that you put the magnet in. So the magnets I've got uh, which are quite reasonable. I've got, oh, they're about that size. So, which is about what? Let's see. So it's about one, one centimeter uh, across ways. And so I don't waste my magnets. I went into the shed with my magnets and tried my best to find something that they would stick to and I found these washers so I thought that would be the uh, the ideal thing so what we're going to do first is just make a little mark so we know where about we want the uh, the magnet now you don't want it too close to this edge because when you're pulling it across you've got a better chance of tearing it so we want to come in to about an inch from uh, from about there. So I'm just going to put a little tiny mark. You can see that little mark there and it's come through this side there. And this is where we're going to attach the washer. So the washer is actually going to go there and we're going to put the magnet there. Now to make sure that we've put it in the right place, it's quite easy, it's quite simple. Quite straightforward. I'm going to use some red double-sided sticky tape. That's definitely where I'm going to have my, my magnets because I put the little tiny dot there to remind me. I'm going to put that across there and I'm going to stick my red tape over my magnet like so. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get another piece of red tape this time a slightly larger piece and I'm going to put the sticky side up ways like so I'm going to get my washer you don't have to have a washer that's this size it's whatever size that, uh, that you want and I'm going to fit that so it's basically centre onto the uh, the magnet okay and then all I'm going to do then is fold this 
flat piece over and push down hard either side and then you'll see that when I lift it off there it is and I can then fold that over and it'll catch you hear it there and then when I lift it up it's still stuck there now to give everything just a little bit of extra strength I did say to you to keep these little off cuts which is the ideal thing to put over these so we're going to take off this piece of the red tape we're going to go over just move that out a bit so I'm in focus over the edge just around the edges there like that and we're going to flip that over and put that down over the magnet like so And when we come to collage over the uh, envelope to finish off the, uh, the envelope folder, that's going to be uh, hidden, but it's just giving it a little bit of extra strength. And we do exactly the same over this one here. So we're just going to click off the red tape that is going to fit across there so we're going to glue that down like so lift that up turn that round and then we're going to put that over the the washer there we go and we're going to let that dry and then we can collage over it like so and then once it's dry and it's complete that's just going to flip over there and close and then you can just lift it off like so and you've got a different style closure onto your envelope folder okay so what I can do now in the next my next video I'll show you how I've completed the folder and how you can reinforce the edges there on this one I've got to put some papers in you've got your pocket there to put any of your ephemera like so you can add an extra pocket there if you want to you could add an extra pocket there if you want to and fold it over and clip it like that or now we've got the way uh, a way forward where we've got the pockets going to be there you've got the paper it's going to go on there we can put an extra pocket on there and we can put an extra pocket on there if we want it closes over quite neat and then that just clips over and we can hear it click now those little magnets do come in various sizes. Uh, I like to use oh, where are we now? <laughs> I like to use these teeny teeny tiny ones. There's a teeny teeny tiny one for uh, work that's not quite as heavy. Uh, but the, and there is another size between this one centimeter um, larger one. Oh, they're, so, they're, they're just so strong um, that one's a, a bit thick but it's ideal for something that's going to be as heavyweight um, as your your folder because that is quite quite a stiff by the time you've put two layers of papers on there and you've also um, finished it off with some PVA glue or some Mod Podge um, it is quite thick so and I do like to use little washers uh, in there uh, or you've got like s smaller washers that you can use you can even use um, the pull tags off uh, tins not the drink cans but tin food again um, 
is another option if you've got something that, that you want to use. The magnets also come in a rectangle shape, which um, I've broken half. And again, there you can see that they're, they're quite thin. But again, they're really, really strong magnets. And you can get these uh, on uh, online. Okay. Well, thank you for, for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the, uh, the video, please put, give me a thumbs up. And um, think about subscribing to my channel to watch uh, the rest of my videos. So from Crafted by Norma, thanks very much. See you again. Bye.